I have enough? Can't, I can't literally see. This is a new jumper from Mr. Winston. This is an extra large and I've got a large in this in like a greyish colour. And this is the XL and I'm actually not sure if it's flattering or not. Like it's very oversized. And this is the back. I probably wouldn't wear it with this skirt, but what do you think? Should I keep this or should I return it? I know it's supposed to be oversized, but not sure. What do you think, Maggie? What do you reckon? Is it flattering on me? Or is it a little bit too big? I don't know. I need help. Does anyone have... Oh, it's so bright. Does anyone have these and do they shrink? I will keep this size because I know it'll, it'll shrink down. So let me know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so... Welcome to my September favorites video. This is not part of the favorites, but I just wanted just wanted an opinion essentially. So, okay, so I found a better spot for lighting for this video and I'm doing a little bit of a different type of list from now on. Moving forward, I'm going to do a book, a movie, a TV show, a podcast and a product. And then I'm also going to do the perfume I've been wearing the most, the bag I've been using the most, a new makeup find, a new beauty find, and a supermarket find. I think I need more light, so I will be back. I'm living at my mum's house right now while I relocate, and I've been shooting in the same place for like three months. So we are now changing my background. I need a fan, I'm so hot. <sighs> I've also got you resting precariously. Like, I'll show you. <laughs> so we've got Fluffy here. She's the director at the moment. We're having the house painted, so there's like blue tape around the windows. And this is my tripod at the moment. So, yeah. Anyway, my room, this is this, this is mum's study and it's got all my coats in it. <laughs> anyway, so, here we go. I haven't really been reading. I had started reading, but I haven't been reading. <laughs> However, I do have a book to recommend. If you're like me and you like reading the books that go with movies or reading the book first and then watching movies, particularly fantasy or action or mystery type movies or TV shows, I would recommend you watch the Bourne series books by Robert Ludlow. There are, oh my gosh, so many, 10. There's a lot. I'm churning my way through the books, but to be honest, I haven't been reading much since I've been here because my schedule and my routine's been a little bit stuffed up. But anyway, next category is movies. Recently, I watched the Disney remake of... Oh, not recording. What's that little flashing? What's that mean? Wow. Hot. At least I can't say this jumper's not warm. Oh my god. I've had to switch cameras. I'm trying to film with my Canon G7X Mark III, but literally the first time, first thing that happened was the memory card was full, which I then fixed, and then it's overheated. So, like my last three months of YouTube videos have been using my iPhone 14 Pro Max on cinematic mode on the front camera and at the moment I'm just <sighs> anyway I'm a bit of wit's end because I really wanted to use a camera camera but anyway I'm not sure now so we have switched so I'm using a different setup so the angle and everything's different I'm so hot in this jumper should I take it off no. Okay, next category is movies. I am from the era of the original Disney movie. So my favorite movie as a child was The Lion King and The Little Mermaid. Every day in the afternoon, I used to watch The Little Mermaid with pikelets and butter. I went and saw The Lion King at the movies, which was a huge deal because The Lion King was like my favorite and is one of my favorite movies. And it was a little bit disappointing just because I don't know, I just don't think you can beat the original. Anyway, so I have Disney Plus and it just came out on Disney Plus. So I watched it and I was in tears. I loved it. 
it was a little bit different. I actually, to, to be honest though, I haven't seen the original Little A Little Mermaid in like decades. So I didn't want to spoil watching this new one by watching the original just before because it's nostalgic for me and I thought, well, I'd rather just go into watching it and kind of be vague on some of the details. So anyway, I watched it and I loved it. It was very long compared to the original, <laughs> but I think anyone who's my age, I'm in, I'm 35, so I'm an 80s baby. And if you're my age and you loved the original, you'll love this version. It is different, but I just, I thought it was great. Now we're moving to TV shows. So I binge watched this TV series with my mum. She'd already seen it, but she was telling me how good it was. And we both have similar tastes in TV shows. The TV series is called Happy Valley and it's made by the BBC. It's set in Northern England, I think in the Yorkshire, Leeds, that area. And it's a police drama but it's got a bit of a twist it's very similar to Broadchurch except the accents are different locations different and it's a lot more um it's just unexpected and it's, it was it was really amusing but also really well done and there's three seasons and we just oh, they're one hour each there's six in each season i think there's six and oh my god it's really good if you like british or just any sort of crime dramas i highly recommend you watch happy valley i think it's not a secret or a new discovery i know people obsess over this show and the main actor the actor who's the main character did win she won a bafta or whatever it's called for her portrayal of her character. Anyway, it's really good. It's really, really good. And that is my pick for September. Next is, oh, I'm on low battery. Oh my God, what else can happen? I've got 20%. <sighs> okay, next is podcasts. I haven't been listening to any podcasts recently. I've been a little bit of, I've just, my routine's not right. So I haven't been doing the same things I usually do. However, I can recommend a podcast that I was listening to quite a lot. It's called Passive Income Project. It's two Aussie blokes talking about passive income, how to make it and anything to do with passive income. And that's obviously something I'm looking at trying to generate for myself. So yeah, I find them lighthearted, Aussie, entertaining, informative and enjoyable to listen to. The episodes aren't too long, but there are some nuggets in there. So I, I don't know, I love what I love listening to podcasts where I can learn something. I'm not a huge podcast listener, but the ones I do listen to, I find I keep listening to are the ones that have a bit of information I can learn something from. So that is my pick for September for podcasts. Okay, product. <laughs> This is a bit of a random, it's not random, but this is my favorite product this month. I'm talking about the Apple AirPods Pro. I think these are the second gen. Anyway, love these. If you've never tried the AirPods Pro, you'll be amazed. I put them on my sister the other day and she was shocked at how good the noise cancellation is. Like they are just as good as the, the big ones that you get from Apple. I tried those in store and I found these to be the same. So. Two reasons why they are fabulous. The first reason is if you're on a plane and you need to drown out crying children, coughing, annoying people, someone talking, just you want a bit of peace and you don't even want to listen to music, you can put these in and turn them on to noise cancellation and they literally just drown everything out, even without music. It's amazing. Like it's sort of weird, but I don't know how they do it. But anyway, yeah, this is absolutely love these and the other one is that i because i edit videos all the time these are crucial to my workflow in terms of getting things done being able to listen to things properly i can have them on transparency mode which is like kind of no noise cancelling but i can hear what's going on around me and if i really want to focus fully and not be distracted by anything whatsoever i put them in noise cancellation mode and Oh my God. Yeah. It's, it's actually after a while you get into a weird trance and you're like, is that coming from the speakers or is that coming from, is that just in my ears or can anyone else hear this? Like it's so clear and precise. And if you have it set to angular, like when you turn your head, it only comes in this ear. And when you turn back, 
it's both ears and when you turn this way it's only this ear so it feels like it's coming from a source but it's not it's just so, it's so cool anyway that is my product for september i love my airpods and the other thing that's cool is these charge wirelessly so i have the apple watch and i have a, a dock next to my bed and i can use the dock to charge these when i'm not charging my watch so they're just both it works for both so love these so the bag that i have been using the most in september is my speedy 25 with the bandolier from louis vuitton the bandolier is inside because i actually haven't been using it the last two days because the weekend but yeah this is my most used bag of september it's mainly because i don't have all my bags with me some of them are in storage but despite the color I mean, it goes well with this blue i love this bag i've done lots of videos about this bag if you're interested in those check them out or go to my channel and uh, yes this is my most used bag for september perfume that i've been using the most uh, this is hard because i tend to rotate i don't usually go days where i use the same perfume unless i'm traveling but um, I've actually recently rediscovered this perfume mainly because I bought a travel size and I found it was a bit headache inducing at first so I sort of limited my use because it was a little bit annoying and because I left it for quite a few months without really using it I just sort of threw it in my bag as an emergency perfume um, it's kind of macerated and it's really potent now and this is the Kaali vanilla 28 it's obviously a vanilla smell it's beautiful it's an amber vanilla fragrance this one came out in 2018 actually but I got this mm, a few years ago from Adore Beauty the top notes are jasmine and vanilla orchid middle notes are brown sugar and tonka bean and the bottom notes are amber amberwood musk and patchouli so it's a bit oriental it's warm it's quite a sweet vanilla but it doesn't stay it's not sickly like i've got a few that are literally just like vanilla and this one it's very nice actually it's orchidy and vanillary and it's not really that floral even though it's got jasmine in the top notes anyway yeah i've been wearing this a lot and it's gone a lot darker like i'm pretty sure this comes not this dark so if you have this fragrance and you don't rate it too much wait until it gets to this point yes very nice very nice makeup new find i haven't i haven't really found anything new or have i nothing new since my last favorites video I'm so sorry beauty product new find i actually had this in my one of my unboxings from mecca recently i've had a chance to use it and i love this stuff i use this every night this is the rice polish from tatcha in the calming variation because i've got sensitive skin i love this i've been using this every night it is expensive but i just as a exfoliator but it's not too harsh it's gentle it's just really nice i love this and i will definitely repurchase one of these and you sort of tip this out and you add a couple of drops of water to your hand get it emulsified and foamy and then leather it on. It's just beautiful. It doesn't feel harsh. It doesn't make my skin feel tight or tingly or red or irritated. It just seems to exfoliate and do its job. And there's only really one Tatcha product that I wouldn't repurchase that I've used in the past. That is my beauty product new find. My supermarket find is a little bit random, but this is something I've started doing and I'm loving this actually. So I have the Help at Hand Lavender Oil. This is one of the Woolworths home brand products. It's literally just lavender oil, but it's a 10% solution. Alcohol, water, lavender oil. You can use this to for beauty, cleaning, anything like that, household cleaning. You can use this as a room spray. You can put it on your face. You can put it in your bath. It's nothing new. It's lavender oil. I put this in a spray bottle with water, just water half of this in here and then top it up with water and I spray my bedding before I make the bed in the morning with this and then it makes the room smell really nice and then at the end of the day I can still smell it before I go to bed and it just gives it a bit of a fresh freshen up between washes and 
then I sometimes even spray it on my pillow before bed so it's all like lavendery and calming and just it's kind of luxurious without really going over the top yeah and this uh, this bottle's from Kmart actually this was a lavender a lavender and aloe vera sleep mist so the same thing just this is way better like and I can't remember how much this is maybe ten dollars not that expensive and also you can use this for cleaning like floor air freshener mop floors you can put this in the rinse for your washing machine and you can put it in a warm bath like yeah endless uses and not very expensive very affordable well done if you've made it this far that is my september favorite so i can shut up now <laughs> if you'd like to pick up anything that i have shown you today what i've been able to find links for i have put in the description below i'm samantha i'm from tasmania i'm 35 and single i do videos for beauty hair and makeup luxury fashion bit of cat content and my journey on youtube and my analytics so if that's something you're interested in head over to my channel check that out let me know in the comments if you've got any suggestions on any products that you think i might like or you are loving if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please consider subscribing it would mean the world to me and you can follow me over on instagram tiktok facebook and pinterest i do a lot of posts and stories on instagram and the sort of more my just daily life but i also have recently started posting a bit more on tiktok since the initial covid lockdown dancing videos so you can go and follow me over on those i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye let me know what you think about my jumper should i keep it I think I might keep it. It's growing on me. It's not too big. Yeah. Mm. I think I was successful in filming that before my battery died on me. How cool is this map? Oh, don't forget, there will be a video on screen for you to check out if you haven't seen it already. So, yes. And. Not a very good director, is she?